There's nothing worse than watching a trailer for an upcoming movie you're excited about, only to realize halfway through that the trailer is giving away the entire plot. And it isn't just a modern problem, either. Marketing companies have been putting major spoilers in trailers for years. Let's take a look at some trailers that totally ruin the movie. And, well, spoilers ahead, obviously. Last House on the Left the trailer for 2009's Last House on the Left leaves no surprise unspoiled as it bounces through the entire script. In the space of two and a half minutes, we learn that two young women have an unfortunate run-in with fugitives, who then execute one and leave the other one in a lake. As they look for a place to hide overnight, the gang ends up at the lake house of the girl they shot. If the trailer had stopped there, it would have been pretty good. Unfortunately, it goes on to show the surviving girl making it home and her parents exacting their revenge on the criminals, including the literal final scene of the movie. There's really no point in even watching it now. You know everything that happens. Castaway It may be one of Tom Hanks' most celebrated roles, but anyone who saw the trailer for Castaway promptly had the entire plot spoiled for them. In the preview, we're shown the plane crash Hanks' character survives and his arrival on the island where he's stranded. Standard trailer stuff. Really makes you wonder if the guy survives, huh? Well, just keep watching the trailer. It shows Hank's character building a raft and writing a note detailing how long he'd been on the island. Even worse, it inexplicably tells us that he survives this harrowing journey and makes it back home. The Castaway trailer is also another one of those previews that uses the last shot of the movie as the last shot of the trailer. So there are literally no surprises left. Thanks for ruining everything, trailer editors. Hey! Fire! Yep, even that. Shutter Island When the first trailer for Shutter Island was released, Paramount Pictures didn't bother to hide much of the plot. In fact, the trailer pretty neatly summarized the entire thing. It becomes evident early on that the disappearance of Rachel Solando is not the real mystery here. But the existence of an unknown 67th patient at the mental institution and the quickly accelerating deterioration of the main character's grip on reality. Thankfully, the trailer left the big, super twisty twist at the end intact for filmgoers, but at that point, you could pretty much forget about enjoying the ride. The Sum of All Fears The trailer for Ben Affleck's debut as Jack Ryan in 2002's The Sum of All Fears is a lesson in how not to do a trailer for a spy film. This clip sets up the main threat early on. Will Affleck and Morgan Freeman be able to track down the missing Russian scientists before they can build a nuclear bomb and use it in the US? That sounds like an intriguing plot and might have drawn a casual viewer to see the movie. Unfortunately, the trailer then destroys all the suspenseful buildup by showing the bomb's detonation. The rest of the story, where Ryan keeps the president from wrongly retaliating against Russia, seems like a major letdown after such a big reveal. Batman vs Superman – Dawn of Justice Naturally, there were several trailers for 2016's mega-movie Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice, but with the second promo trailer, the studio apparently decided to just give away the entire plot and hope fans were too devoted to the brand to care. The trailer makes no mystery of most of the critical plot points, with scenes in order and all the major beats revealed. Lex Luthor introduces Bruce Wayne and Clark Kent, then manipulates them both to get them to fight. The two superheroes duke it out for a while, which is in the title, so that's fine. Until, surprise, here's Doomsday to fight them. But wait, who appears to save the day? Why, it's Wonder Woman! And the duo becomes a trio, working together to battle the bad guy and save the world. Despite all the spoilers, the movie made over $870 million at the worldwide box office. So apparently the strategy paid off. Final Destination all the films in the Final Destination series are pretty bad about putting huge spoilers in their trailers. While we know the entire premise of the movies revolves around the demise of people who cheated fate, spoiling the characters' comeuppance in the trailers pretty much defeats the purpose. In the trailer for the first Final Destination movie alone, we get to see Todd, Miss Luton, and Billy meet their gruesome fates. Later installments in the franchise are similarly spoilery, usually revealing the demise of at least a third of the cast along the way. Kingsman – The Golden Circle In 2014's Kingsman – The Secret Service, Colin Firth's character Harry Hart is shot in the face by Valentine. It's implied that Hart is out of the picture, with Eggsy taking over his role within the Kingsman spy organization. With the first official trailer for The Golden Circle, the Fox marketing team decided to spoil a huge secret in the final seconds of the trailer. Oh my god. This revelation didn't set well with director Matthew Vaughn, who said, 
I beg the studio not to reveal it, because it's the whole driving force of the first act, and if you didn't know that scene, it would have made the whole audience gasp. Apparently, the marketing guys didn't take the hint, because the second trailer for The Golden Circle even showed Harry in action, along with a reveal of Julianne Moore's character as the big bad. Friday the 13th Although the 1980 horror film Friday the 13th eventually went on to become a massive box office success and spawned an entire franchise, the trailer for the movie definitely didn't do it any favors. In typical 80s style, the trailer for Friday the 13th has a voiceover. But this time, the marketing team at Paramount didn't bother trying to entice audiences with a mysterious backstory or synopsis. Instead, they just showed every character's demise while the voiceover counts them. One. Not only does the trailer have no qualms about spoiling every twist in the movie, it also takes a weird turn. In counting up to the 13 in the title, the trailer implies there will be 12 casualties during the film, but there are actually only 10. The nine victims and Pamela Voorhees herself. So much for truth in advertising. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.